the ivy. Where is she? She was over there. Um, I'm partnering with the farmer's dog this month to tell her story. And some of you have heard it, some of you haven't. Um, the farmer's dog makes it so easy to feed your dog fresh dog. Her dog food is delivered directly to our door. It comes frozen in packets. She only eats one time a day. So I feed her one of these per day in the morning. If your dog eats two times a day, just cut this in half. Traditional dog food is highly processed and I don't think smells very good. You can actually see and smell the difference in the farmer's dog food. We get her turkey, but it's also available in beef, pork, and chicken. Tell them about your dog food, how much you love it. You guys, she was so inflamed. Um, when we first started giving her the farmer's dog food, Love the farmer's dog, don't we? Mm. Um, it's it's wonderful. Not only did it do her such good, um, it's like I said, so easy to get fresh, healthy dog food for her. I'm gonna put my link here. Swipe up for sixty percent off. She was so inflamed and overweight. We started feeding her uh, fresh dog food, and it changed her life. She stopped vomiting. She stopped um, being itchy. It's just. If you guys want a great station to listen to with the oldies, Pandora, um, Neil Diamond. So good. This it plays Neil Diamond, um, John Denver, um, so many good oldies, Pandora. This song, <laughs> this is another one, Bread. Listen to it if you guys love oldies. So good. That was the best massage of my life. So I love massages. I love deep tissue, like basically elbow digging in. Deb despises massages she thinks that they hurt she doesn't even like them to go like this on her back she hates them and they can stand on mine anybody know where i'm at anybody anybody <laughs> somebody said there was a package here so i had to stop here remember this remember let me see if i can find a photo Remember this shot right here? I'll find a photo and post it next. Guess where I went by? The rental. Oh, did you wanna move in? I told our people that you have mental scars from it. Truly. <laughs> you are the best housewife. It's just not your <laughs> Really. It's not. I don't know what I'm good at, but you know. You're good at so much. Just And housewife, you are an excellent housewife, but that doesn't fill my soul. I'm leading into this because she made lunch and this is so delicious. This is a pork roast she put on the Traeger a couple days ago. So this is leftover. She put a little barbecue sauce on. This is that outer aisle, um, what do you call it? Cauliflower, like a sandwich thin is that what they call it sandwich thins cauliflower sandwich thins so delicious and then she makes this slaw to put over it it is so delicious maybe she'll share it's the recipe just because you haven't had a sandwich for a year it, I, I know the, these outer aisle things are the bomb
I wish I could catch this hummingbird. He keeps coming up here and dive bombing me because I'm sitting this close <laughs> to his feeder and he's sour at me. Deb's taking me for a really exciting ride, she told me. I can't wait to see where we're going. extremely exciting um <laughs> we are having and i'm only going to share if it's good if it's if it's not good i'm not even wasting my breath or your time um but deb's ex deb's baby daddy dropped off a bunch of vegetables these are just a little bit some white eggplant some tomato some cherry tomatoes um a purple eggplant and i am trying this in the air fryer I looked online and saw a recipe, so I've never tried them in the air fryer. So I'll let you know if it's good and I'll share the recipe. But like I said, if it's not, I won't even waste anybody's time. I've only ever used them as like lasagna noodles, like peel it, then or use them in place of lasagna noodles. Just peel them and then slice them. But that which reminds me, I forgot. But I told a bunch of you that I would share Deb's um, coleslaw recipe. I don't even know what she put in it, so I'll wait until she gets back. So far, I cubed them. I put um, olive oil, gar minced garlic, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and a little paprika. And then I have had these in here for about 10 minutes. I'm going to stir it around and then put them back in for 10 minutes. Supposedly, it's really good, so I'll let you know. Do you, this is, this is what they look like. They've got a really good flavor. Um, I'm not sure that we like the, the, uh, I was going to say crust, the peelings on, but I've been taking some off, but it's got a really good flavor. I'm, I'll share, I'll share it with you. A couple of questions. Um, the outer aisle cauliflower sandwich thins and pizza crust, I ordered them online. There's no, well, I think they have them in, at Meijer, but we don't have a Meijer close, so I just ordered them online and um, got them delivered. And Deb, everybody needs your coleslaw recipe. It's in my head. It's loud out here from all the cicadas, so you might, I, they better not drop from the sky like they did last uh, night. Two of them. Ivy had a snack, midnight snack. Disgusting. Um, coleslaw. Um, because we don't have a garden this year, I just buy it in the bag. Very simple. Throw it in there, put some salt, pepper, and then I add monk sweetener. You can use whatever sweetener you want. Like how like, much? A tablespoon? A little bit? Yeah. Okay. Maybe a tablespoon. Maybe just a little bit more. Um, I add a little bit of olive oil. Not much. And mayo and lemon juice trying to think is not everything. I think that's everything. I just stir it up. It is so delicious it's on top. It's not that delicious. It's good on top of that pork. 